Microsoft Flight Simulator has finally come to the Xbox and it would be fair to say it's been a total game changer. I've been blown away ever since playing it from 4 o'clock in the afternoon. However, if you're starting out and you want a bit more fun, you may want to install some add-ons. Today I'll be showing you how you can use the marketplace and how you can get your hands on some awesome add-ons that we've already seen popping out in the marketplace and of course how to install the DLC that the Sobo team have already provided. First of all from the main menu you're going to want to go to marketplace. Go up as you can see in the top left corner there's a bar with all of the stuff in, press your right bumper twice and that will make you end up in the marketplace. Once you're in there you can see we've got a bunch of featured products at the front including the premium deluxe update and top rudder 103 solo which is a fantastic little micro light made by the Asobo team and very cheap for around £8. Anyway, if you want to see all of the products, go up to full catalogue. This shows you all the products on display. You'll also be able to select from the top all paid free or world updates. Most of you want to head over to free because you won't want to spend more money. Now let's say for example we want to install a world update, let's go the United Kingdom world update. Well as easy as that, you go up to it and click on it funnily enough. This can apply to any add-on, payware or freeware, it's all the same process, you'll just need to apply it. Once you've done that, just click Git and Download. This will instantly begin its download. Git will just pay for it if you have if it's payware and allow you to download it later. Once you see it downloads, you might have to wait a bit, but you will get a notification. So some time has passed and we're now ready to install our item, payware or freeware of course. Go up to here and you'll see the notification saying it's now downloaded. At the moment I haven't got any because it was quite some time ago, but you'll see it when it's there. Now you'll want to come over to Content Manager which is in Profile and if it hasn't pre-installed or installed already you'll see it in the Not Installed section which you can see in the top left corner. You can see the products I've already installed such as the A320, some of these are only on my PC though. Anyway on Not Installed click it and you'll see well there is World Update 3 United Kingdom. Easy as that, now click Download. This will download any other bits it's missed, you may not have it, it probably is already installed, but if it hasn't you'll want to click download. Most of the time it will download instantly from the marketplace or very quickly and straight away end up in installed. Now while it's downloading let's talk about some of the add-ons we've already got. Well the Spitfire by Flying Iron Designs is very good, I recommend it. And if you live in any of the local areas that are covered by the world update, I do in the United Kingdom, I recommend you get one of them. They're all very good and bring a bunch of points of interest over. Great, now it's downloaded. You're ready to go and fly with your new add-on. It could be an aircraft or airport, scenery area or more, there's plenty to do. For payware add-ons you'll do exactly the same thing, you just have to buy it with real money of course. But yes, simple as that, it really is rather easy to install stuff from the Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace. I hope you've enjoyed this little video explaining to you in an easy manner how you can install add-ons for a Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox, almost exactly like PC, well it is exactly like PC. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, from me today, that is all, bye bye.